Okay, so this video is how to improve the packing process of the streamer to reduce uh, tangling. Now think about it, I use a lot of very long Kevlar cords, several feet long, and many times I've had everything come out in a big jumble and everything was tangled together. Other times it's worked beautifully. But I think I found some of the, some of the ways to improve this so that we can reduce the tangling. So let's take a look at this. This is a rocket with the new streamer in it. And you can see it just very easily slides right out. We've got the blanket. We've got the large Kevlar cord in back of it. But one improvement, improvement I made is on the streamer itself. See, the streamer has both ends. This is my, my famous loop streamer. But what I've done now is I have put one cord on the bottom, one cord on the top. So the cord on the top packs on top of the Kevlar blanket. The cord on the bottom goes right down into the large winding. Now, I did this because when these two are together, if these cords are in the same place and the streamer, if it just makes a single twist or a turn, it's going to tangle them together. And then these ends of the streamer are not going to be bound up and it's not going to open very well. So you can see this way, no matter how this is positioned, it's going to pull from the top and pull from the bottom. And it's going to very quickly open the streamer with very little chance of tangling together the cord on this end with the cord on this end. So um, that's the theory. I'm going to do some experiments and try this out. And I'll let you know after the next launch. So again, um, I haven't tried this, but I have made this change. And I believe this is going to solve some of the streamer tangling problems that I have seen on occasion. And again, this is model rocket engineering. Uh, try to figure out how to make it work, how to make it work better. Uh, try some ideas and evaluate the results and have fun just trying to figure out how to make your flights work as, as well as you can.